Hello everybody again, um, this is Joseph, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. Instead of automotive, we're going to be doing basic electronic tutorials. And the basic of electronics is Ohm's Law, and the first obvious circuit to learn is series circuits, and then parallel circuits. Let's start off, as you can see, I highlighted different parts of the circuits and I'll try to simplify everything as much as I can in this circuit over here we have a battery source positive and negative E1 30 volts DC a battery is DC now it could be a power supply it could be a battery it does not matter as long as it's a source giving us a voltage we have three resistors connected in series. R1 is equal to 10 ohms. R2 is also equal to 10 ohms. R3 is also equal to 10 ohms. I have designated the points between these resistors A, B, C, D, E, F. And there's a reason why I did that. Now, resistor is an opposition to current flow, a resistor, to resist something. Current is the flow of electrons. In order to have that be, become apparent, you have to have a closed circuit for current to flow. It can flow from positive to minus or minus to positive. We can dictate it as conventional current going from positive to negative, which I have, because usually I do automotive, or electron flow is negative to positive. It does not really matter the direction as long as you have current flowing through the components. That's the main reason. Just like you have AC switches polarity 120 times a second when you have 60 hertz. So, in this, <clears throat> in this diagram, we want to figure out how much current we have flowing from the battery. And like again, conventional current, positive. How much current is flowing through these resistors, through all these points? In order to do that, you have to know basic formulas of Ohm's law. And once you know the basic formulas of Ohm's law, you can calculate voltage drops across each resistor. The basics of Ohm's law. If we want to find out a voltage in volts, the unit of volts, we have to know two variables. We have to know the current. We have to know the resistance. If we want to find out the resistance, we have to know two variables. We have to know the voltage. We have to know the current. If we want to find out the current, we have to know two variables. The voltage and the resistance. You cannot calculate one if you only know one variable. We need two variables. In this case, in this example, we do have two variables. We know the voltage is a DC voltage equal to 30 volts. We know how much the, the resistance of each resistor is. We said each one is 10 ohms, 10 ohms, 10 ohms. So therefore, we already have what's necessary to plug in into the formula. We're going to be using this formula. Now, as you see over here, <clears throat> I have designated each one with different colors. So, if we go by the formula, we want to find out current I. And remember, I, in this case, and we have to understand this, the basics, the total current is the same current throughout the circuit. And why is that? 
because we only have one path for the current to flow. There is no separate branch connected to this for the current to split up. So therefore, off the bat, you have to analyze and say, this current is the same current as this current. This current is the same as this current. This current is the same as this current. Whatever comes out of the battery has to go back to the battery as the same current. If I would have two amps coming out, I would have two amps coming back, regardless of negative to positive or positive to negative. Whatever comes out has to come in the same number, the same amount of amps. Let's go over here. Now, I, we want to figure out the current. We know the volts, like we said, 30 volts. We know the resistance. Yes, we do. R1 plus R2 plus R3. That's the formula of Ohm's law. So, 10 plus 10 plus 10 will give us an equivalent of 30 ohms. 30 volts over 30 ohms equal 1 amp. So, we can put one resistor here equal to 30 ohms. And it will still give us 1 amp. The voltage source does not care how many resistors you have connected to it. You can have one resistor. You can have two resistors equal to 30 ohms. You can have three resistors equal to 30 ohms. You can have one single resistor, as you'll see in this illustration, equal to 30 ohms. It does not care. It just sees how much resistance, and this is how much current we have flowing from the battery source. If you want to tune in for the rest of this, please tune in to the next video. Thank you.